Hey what's up guys this is Sriraj welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna see how to partition the C drive of our brand new Windows 11 PC or laptop into multiple drives. So we will be dividing the default C drive partition to multiple drives named like D, E etc. I'll be demonstrating the process on my brand new Windows 11 laptop and let's get started. So firstly open the file explorer by clicking the folder icon in the bottom bar then in the left side you can see this PC click on that and now we can see the list of drives available since my laptop is brand new I have only one drive called the C drive if I keep my mouse over it I can see that this drive has only 407 GB of free space out of the 475 GB of total space that means I have utilized 70 GB of memory. It mostly contains the Windows files and other installed softwares. If you right click on the drive and click on properties, you can see more details of the drive space. Now right click on this PC, then click on show more options and click the manage option. It will take you to the computer management window. On the left side menu, under the storage menu option, click on disk management. Wait some time for it to load. Now here we can see the drive partitions of our hard disk. Here I can see my C drive and it has 475 GB of space. So I am going to split this C drive by shrinking it and then will create two new drives from the free space that we get from shrinking this C drive. For that process I have to right click on the C drive then select shrink volume option. It will take some time. It's querying the shrink space. So here we have the disk space details. Let us open the calculator app and make the calculations. So I am converting the megabytes MP into GB and that is the gigabytes. So here it's 487109 MP and it is equal to 475 GB. That is the current size of our C drive right now. So in order to convert the MP to GB I can divide it by 1024. Next the size available to take out from the C drive is equal to 399.8 GB that is approximately equal to 400 GB. So what it says is from the 475 GB of the C drive we can take out 400 GB and use it to create new drives. So what I am going to do is I am only taking 300 GB from this available 400 GB of free space because I am planning to maintain 175 GB for my C drive that is 475 minus 300 equal to 175 so I am retaining 175 GB of space in my C drive and rest 300 GB I am utilizing for creating new drives since I want to make only 300 GB free I am going to enter 300 in 2024 in this column that is equal to 307 200 so we have to enter in megabytes so 300 GB I am converting into megabytes by multiplying it with 1024 so I have entered 300 GB which is equal to 307 200 MP in the amount of space to shrink and then I am clicking on the shrink button it will take a while and now you can see our C drive space is reduced from 475 GB to 175 GB our balance 300 GB we can see as unallocated free space which is indicated in the black color. If we go to the this PC section here if we refresh we can see the update on our C drive. Yes it's only 175 GB. Earlier it was 475 GB. Now we have got out 300 GB as unallocated free space and I am going to create two new drives from this 300 GB each will be of 150 GB size for that I have to click on the unallocated space 300 GB and then select new simple volume a new window will come click on the next button 
here we have to enter the size of the first new drive we are going to create as I told already we will be creating a drive of 150 GB size so I have to enter the size 150 GB in megabytes so I am calculating 150 GB to MB by multiplying by 1024 so 150 into 1024 which is equal to 153600 so this is the value I have to enter here now I have to enter this value here and click the next button here we have to choose the drive letter I am selecting the drive name as D drive since I have only C drive click on the next button here in the file system I am choosing NTFS and the volume label is left as it is new volume if you want to change that you can change then click on the next button to proceed click on finish to complete the drive creation bingo our new drive is ready near the C drive we can see our newly created D drive of 150 GB size also we have balance 150 as unallocated free space I am going to the this PC window to verify bingo our new drive is successfully created you can see the new volume D drive we created just now now we can test our newly created drive by creating a simple text file I am opening the drive and right clicking inside the drive I am right clicking and I am clicking on create new text document giving name as test the document is created adding some sample data to and saving the document bingo it works so wonderfully now again going back to the disk management window and quickly we can create our second drive also for that I am repeating the same process right click on the unallocated 150 GB space which is indicated in black color click on new simple volume click next this time we can enter the maximum value which is given above no need to change since it's coming auto generated click on next this time the drive will be named as e drive other settings are same as we did earlier click on next and then finish to complete the process bingo our second drive is also successfully created I'm going to this PC section here we can see our newly created drives along with our C drive now we have C D and E drives so in the newly created D and E drives we can save our valuable data photos etc the advantage of having multiple drives is that when our computer has some software issues or virus infections in such cases we may have to format our C drive we may arrive in a situation where we may have to format our C drive and if we have all our photos and data in our C drive while formatting the drive for reinstalling the Windows OS all the data will be lost so in that cases our D and E drives will be our savior it stays safe and no need to be formatted for OS reinstallation so that's all guys in this video of creating new drives in our Windows 11 PC Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Do like, share and subscribe. This is Sriraj Melat signing off.